guys, it's Marie. I'm here because I love to talk about vintage bags and if you like it too, please subscribe to my channel. For your information, I'm wearing again my beautiful, most loved Ralph Lauren vintage checkered skirt from the men's department, but I don't care, it's so super soft. Anyway, back to the bags. So I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the Prada brand first. It was founded in 1913 by Mario Prada, who was the grandfather of Musha, and he ran it with his brother. So he was actually very conservative. He didn't think there was any place for women besides in the house and doing household chores. And he wanted to steer away his daughter as far from the brand as possible. But none of his sons were interested in running the brand. They weren't interested in running a business of shoes and bags, leather shoes and bags, and boy, were they wrong. Were they ever wrong? In the end, he handed over the business to his daughter, which was the mother of Musha Prada, and she ran it with her husband. So when Musha was actually in her 20s, she was actually a member of the Communist Party. She was studying political sciences and theater and she was like fighting for women's rights. She was like a huge feminist. And in that time, like in the 70s, it was not seen. She was not seen as the best person to run a fashion brand because I think your position has to be more neutral to learn as much customers as uh, as you can. So, but of course they didn't have any other choice. She wanted to run the brand. I don't know how it exactly happened, but we all know she started to run the brand. She met her husband. I think he was into fashion and leather goods. So they actually put the brand on the map globally. That's when it exploded. Like it was the 70s and Prada was really a household brand. Success came about through a handbag in nylon without a big logo and that's what put the brand on the map globally and they took off from there. So about this handbag, this is my go-to, on-the-go, everyday handbag. It is in a deep navy blue in the nylon. It's a 90s child, I believe, or a 2000 child. I'm not exactly sure. Um, it has like the side pockets here and there's a side pocket here. And then the interior is also, um, so in the middle there's also a pocket. So it's super handy to organize everything. And it's also the, um, I think it's the best size. It's not super big, it's not super small, so you can just like throw everything in and just organize everything in different compartments. Like I mostly have like the doggy bags here, uh, my wallet, um, her leash of the dog, some lipstick, some tissues, and it's really nice that I can organize this in all these like special compartments so i'm really happy with this bag and it goes with every outfit i can't tell you how easy it is to combine navy blue or like shades of blue i'm really into that um so yeah so if you like more talk about handbags especially pre-loved handbags and vintage handbags vintage fashion and pre-loved style then welcome to this channel i make videos every week about these topics thank you so much for watching and we'll see each other next week